Hello. The images, both shocking and heartbreaking. Houston area families forced to vacate their homes, their property out on the sidewalk, because they simply cannot afford to pay. It's my fault in the eviction. It took me like a month to get another job. Eviction looming for many families. If we have to move out, I just, I don't know. That's just what I have to do, you know, and just try to pick up the pieces from there. Just another residual effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. We see these sort of systemic issues from a from a socioeconomic, mostly economic standpoint all the time, but I think that they're really highlighted now in the middle of the pandemic. Donna Carney is managing attorney at Lone Star Legal Aid with the Eviction Right to Counsel initiative. She and a team of attorneys are working hard to help tenants stay in their homes even if they can't afford to pay rent. It goes without saying that people who cannot afford to pay their rent typically can also not afford to hire an attorney. But a new pilot program in precincts two and seven, comprised of a coalition of lawyers and law students from Lone Star Legal Aid, Houston volunteer lawyers, and three local law school clinics is determined to keep a roof over their heads. The coronavirus pandemic was an opportunity for um, the court namely Jeremy Brown, the Justice of the Peace in Precinct 7, along with several attorneys in the area of eviction defense, to come together and really put this in motion. A quick look at cases from court dockets show the need for free legal services. From July 1st through September 9th, a total of 4,988 eviction cases were filed in eight Harris County precincts. 34% of those were filed in Precinct 5, which covers West Harris County. Judge David Petronella has seen the shift in the types of eviction cases coming before his court in Precinct 1. We've seen a lot of folks who have never been through the eviction process uh, finding themselves before, before the bench now. I'm finding a surprising number of tenants and landlords that are trying to workout plans. Uh, what we always encourage folks is to communicate and see if they can uh, uh, they can work some things out during this time. But there is a reprieve for many who can't work things out with their landlords or pay rent. On September 1st, the CDC ordered a temporary stop for residential evictions. The order states if a tenant makes less than $99,000 a year and cannot pay rent, all they need to do is sign and present a statement provided by the CDC to their landlord. If you qualify under these terms and, you, and if you provide this document to your landlord, your case needs to be dismissed. Your case needs to be stopped. No eviction should continue under these circumstances. Carney says she's hopeful they'll be able to provide help to other tenants in need. Even if a tenant doesn't live in the precincts participating in the pilot program, Carney says they will still qualify for legal representation. Optimally, what we would like to do as a coalition is to be able to provide eviction defense as a right to every tenant who's eligible in Harris County and in the city of Houston. Just days ago, Carney says the coalition saved a family from being put out on the street. Of all of the tenants who were set for the eviction docket, everyone was in fact served an eviction judgment with the exception of the one tenant who was represented by counsel. And so we feel very strongly that tenants have a much better chance of defeating an eviction if they have an attorney present. We've put a link to the CDC form and contact information for Lone Star Legal Aid and the Eviction Coalition on our website, clicktohouston.com. I'm Amy Davis, KPRC Channel 2 News.